Just to continue with what Simon was saying, what does it mean for New Zealand in trade with Europe and the UK? Well, one estimate is that it could wipe out $190 million in export earnings each year. And as Emma Jolliffe reports, exporters are already feeling uncertain. Europe is New Zealand's biggest market for red meat, worth $2 billion a year. Half of the meat exported to Europe goes to the UK. Beef and Lamb New Zealand says Brexit means uncertainty for farmers. The UK uh, exports about 90% of its sheep meat into the EU. So all of a sudden there's a question around, well, what will they be doing with their exports? Will it bring more of their product back onto their domestic market? Beef and Lamb's priority is to protect our quota, which sees 228,000 tonnes of product go into the EU tariff-free. Think Tank, the New Zealand initiative, isn't surprised at the result, saying the EU isn't the sort of club you'd want to belong to. The one continent with the lowest growth rate outside Antarctica. He says shy Brexiteers have shown their true colours today, and there's good and bad for New Zealand. We might be the first country in line to negotiate a free trade agreement with the UK government after they have pulled out of the European Union. And I think what we should be doing is actually we should be offering technical assistance to the UK government because they haven't had to do this for decades. All negotiating has been done by Brussels since 1973, but we've done it with China. We've done it with the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But Business New Zealand predicts trading conditions will be harder than they have been and fears prolonged economic uncertainty. And the stakes are high. New Zealand conducts $8 billion worth of trade with the EU, including the UK, $3 billion with Britain alone. If people think that we would be the first cab off the rank to negotiate a free trade agreement uh, with Britain, I think they'd be probably wrong. Britain will be looking to uh, negotiate a free trade agreement, I would have thought, with the EU. So essentially we've lost an ally for free trade within the European Union. At the same time, New Zealand is trying to negotiate a free trade agreement with the EU trading bloc. Emma Jolliffe, News Hub.